Hello everyone, I am Tiffany Starr and you are talking with Tiff. Okay, I just want to get it out there that yes, I have lipstick on my nose during part of this video due to a drinking bit. I considered re-recording it, but I figured it would be more authentic, amusing, and honestly, I don't want to put my liver through that again. Like Rodney said to Tony Stark, look, it's me, I'm here, deal with it. In a recent video, I gave a shout out to Oliver Thorne of Philosophy Tube fame. Oliver is a leftist YouTuber that has a taste for theatrics. He's great and I encourage everyone to subscribe to him. His video on abortion where he mocks Ben Shapiro's hypocrisy is mwah. Five star content. That being said, there has been some manufactured drama surrounding one of Philosophy Tube's tweets. Now, before we get into this, there is an optional drinking game that comes with this video. All you need to do to participate is grab your favorite alcoholic beverage and take a shot every time I say the word transphobic, including that time. Oof. Woo! Let's do this. New York Post posted, Nonpartisan board called on Trump to begin transition, to which Philosophy Tube replied with, That's a surprise. Best of luck to the president in her transition. Now, as a trans woman myself, I don't see the issue with this joke. Sure, it's an eye roller, but it's just made to give people a half-hearted chuckle. It's certainly not transphobic. But if we scroll down and read the comments, you might get the impression that this tweet is actually transphobic. Oh, God damn it! I should have done the Demon Souls segment before this one. Hypno Trans Girl says, not cool. That one fox girl. You're not trans. You don't get to make this joke. Kitty Gonya says, you really don't get to make jokes like this? Like, seriously, you don't. What is it with all these trans women having fucking Kitty and Fox in their name? Are all trans women furries? Am I a furry? Holy fucking shit! I didn't know! I mean, I liked crocodiles, but I didn't know I wanted to be a crocodile. I'm discovering so much about myself! And by the way, I can make that joke because I'm trans. So suck my girl cock. Lucy Anti Bruce Scum says, just here for the ratio since clearly nothing will make you reconsider this trans misogyny? What the fuck? Pemis the Primal says, Ha ha, you're a sis. This might not be your joke to make, hun. They thought it was gay. B-I-H says, You absolutely can't make this joke. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, are these people leftists or conservatives? Because they're using the same fucking talking points. Holy shit, too bad the left can't work in tandem like this when they go after the right. They only do it to their own fucking people. Dr. Emmy G says, This is a joke only found funny by transphobic people. What does that say about this joke? Oh my fucking god, I didn't take tweets into account, god damn it. Oh well, down the hatch. Oh, <coughs> so good. Now that we've read a few of these replies, and I've had a few shots in me, let me explain how these hypersensitive crybabies are misinterpreting the tweet. Number one, this joke isn't even transphobic. He used the proper pronouns for trans women, which Trump would be if he had actually transitioned. Trans people like myself should know better that a transphobic person would never use our proper pronouns. Oh, my throat's on fire. His tweet also indicates that despite whatever political affiliation you subscribe to, he'll support your transition. Number two, his tweet is not going to make non-transphobic people transphobic. God, why did I think this would be a good bit? Oh, I regret everything. For the mongrels who are already transphobic, this tweet is entirely useless to them. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna fucking die. TERFs wouldn't retweet this because it doesn't justify their warped views on sex or gender. And conservatives wouldn't use this tweet to argue that transgender people aren't valid. Just because someone cis uses the word trans in a joke doesn't automatically make the joke malicious or them a transphobe. Number three, Oliver is a staunch ally of the LGBT community. It's obvious from these replies that they haven't bothered to look up any of Philosophy Tube's content. If they had, they would have discovered that that he made an entire video on transphobia. 
you know, the thing they're claiming he is, despite the fact that he literally made a video talking about how awful transphobia is? Like, holy shit, people. Wow. Are these people even fans? Or just online grifters whose emotions run like Rudy Giuliani's hair dye? If any of these people consider themselves on the left, then they're attacking the wrong person. And they're embarrassing themselves and other leftists. We should be going after people like Ariel Scarcella and Ben Shapiro, people who are actually transphobes. The woke scolders and purity testers are out in full fucking force over a nothing burger. This tweet was just a lame attempt at a joke, that's all. Despite that, a lot of people want him to delete his tweet, but why in Satan's fiery red hot cock would he do that? If he did that, that would only make these lunatics justify their initial accusation that his tweet is transphobic. They'd start saying shit like, he deleted the tweet to cover his own ass. Therefore, keeping it up makes the most sense. Ugh. Well, another brain cell bites the dust. It's worth mentioning that not all responses to this tweet were from whiny little bitches. Patrick Horsfield says this joke is neither transphobic nor even neutral. It's an attack on transphobia. Han says, I understand this joke is a play on words, but it still left a bad taste in my mouth. That being said, some comments on this honestly border on bullying, and that's not okay. Super Kamiguro says these replies make me wish there was a hormone people could take to transition into having a sense of humor. <laughs> I bet trans women will find that tweet transphobic too. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Before I go, I just want to say be careful who you try to cancel and why. Unless you're a conservative, you have critical thinking skills, so use them. Don't just read the tweet, analyze it. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you have a great holiday. Stay safe and stay non transphobic. Oh, fuck me.